Hello friends and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to talk about Liskov's substitution principle. In my earlier video about solid principles, we had not discussed the technical example for Liskov's substitution principle. So in this video, we will discuss the technical example for Liskov's substitution principle. For rest of the solid principles, you can continue to refer the earlier videos. Now, Liskov's substitution principle, what does it say? It says that if your program is using a base class, then the reference of the base class can be replaced or should be replaceable with a derived class object without affecting the functionality of the program. That is, derived types, that is the children classes, must be completely be able to substitute for their base types. As we saw with the real life example of that uh, Mafia Don and his three sons, the children should be completely and properly able to substitute for their parents. So let's see the technical example. So I have written an abstract class member, right? It has certain uh, data members such as name, membership type, membership start date, end date, right? This is a constructor and it has an abstract method called as add to database. So if you want to add that member info into your database, you can use this add to database method. Now this is an abstract class and because this method is abstract, right? Because the specifics of this method will be implemented by children classes like lifetime member and annual member. Now we implement the add to database method in our lifetime member child class. It is inheriting from member, right? So this is a child class, this is a parent class. And right now I'm just printing out a line that we are adding the lifetime member info to the database because this is an example, right? Similarly, I have one more child class, annual member, which is inheriting member class. Again, I have implemented add to database method in my annual member child class with some implementation i'm just printing here the line right now we have one more potential child class called as inquiry right a user who is not yet lifetime member or annual member but who has just done some inquiry right now like annual member and lifetime member we also want to add the details of the inquiry into the database so we are extending the member class right and implementing the method uh, add to database so so far so good you are with me we have a member abstract class which has abstract method add to database and all the uh, children classes that is lifetime member annual member and inquiry are implementing that add to database method now coming back to the Liskov's principle that is derived types must be able to substitute for the base types so in my main method i'm creating a list a collection of type member which is a parent class and the members of the list are of different child types for example first entry into the list is of type lifetime member second entry is annual member third entry is inquiry so this list is of type member that is the parent class but we can always assign the child class instance to the parent class object, right? And then I'm running a loop just to check the list count substitution principle. I've written a loop for each member of this my list invoke the add to database method, right? Now, because all the three children classes are per properly implementing this add to database method, this code should run flawlessly. So if I compile and execute, we can see that we are getting this implementation, adding the lifetime member to database, adding the annual member to database, adding the inquiry into the database, right? So here we have invoked using the, we are using the object of parent class, right? And runtime we are assigning it with the instance of children classes. And then when we are running the loop, this C dot add to database uh, is running smoothly. So in here, Liskov's substitution principle is working. That is, 
even though this C is the object of type member, in C++ we'll call it as reference, but in here let's consider object. The implementation of this member is provided as lifetime member or annual member or inquiry, but no matter what, this C dot add to database code is working perfectly without any error now. What if I want to add another functionality? Uh, let's say I want to add the functionality of um, making a booking, right? So now I declare another abstract method, right? Let's say return type void make booking. So I'm changing this in my parent class, that is my member class. Now because this is an abstract method, all the children classes of this member class will have to implement that. So we'll implement it here in the lifetime member class and again we'll implement this method in our rest of the children classes. Now there's a problem. Now inquiry cannot do code booking. A person who has just come and inquired but who is not a member, right? cannot do code booking but because inquiry is implementing member class and member class has this abstract make booking method it is compulsory for the inquiry class to provide the implementation so one way we could do that is we could just say throws exception and we can just say we hope that inquiry class will not be used to invoke the make booking method but if it does then we'll say throw new exception we'll say cannot do booking right again i have a list of type member class and i'm having three items in the list one if type lifetime member one of type annual member one of type inquiry because these three are children of member and instead of add to database now i will invoke method make booking right so let's try and execute this code now we are having a problem now if we create a list of type member right and we try to invoke a make booking function on that each element of that list right we are getting an exception because this inquiry child class is not being able to fully substitute the member class because he it is not actually properly implementing the make booking method of your member class right so the, here we are violating the Liskov's substitution principle in this case do not focus on the error so I could have easily avoided that error and say that uh, can't do booking and I'll just say system dot instead of throwing exception I could have done that and now this code will actually run but we'll just get a message can't do booking so we are not violating Liskov's substitution principle in this case per se but if you see it logically this uh, inquiry child class cannot substitute for the member class because it is not providing proper uh, behavior, proper expected behavior for the make booking method, right? Make booking here is not doing any booking, right? So this also is a violation of Liskov's substitution principle. Yes, we have got rid of the exception, the error, but this is still not implementing or this is still not following the Liskov substitution principle. So essentially what we are we have learned in this example is that inquiry is not actually a member because member has a behavior of make booking right lifetime member and annual member can provide implementation of that behavior make booking but our application logic says that inquiry cannot do a booking so inquiry in reality is not a member so we should not try to inherit it from member although inquiry has certain thing common with the other children classes of member that is adding to database so in this case what we should do is that we should create an interface i database right this interface should have a method 
for adding information to database so we'll say public void add to database and we should define one more interface for making booking so we'll say i booking we should have a method called as public void make booking member class now we don't need to make it abstract anymore all the children of member class will have to be added to database and make booking so we can say member class implements i database and i booking we can keep it like that the children classes are actually providing the implementation right and now we don't have the compulsion of making inquiry a child class of member will make it implement i database interface because it only has a behavior of adding information to database we don't have to implement the make booking method anymore so it is it is only going to implement the add to database method now in our main method we'll create list of instead of member i'll say if i want to perform uh, add to database operation i'll create a list of i database interface right and here i'll say again i database right and because all of three are actually implementing in a way i database so this should work and i'll just say i database c and i'll just say here add to database right let's compile and execute this code right so now you can see the output here the add database method is seamlessly called on each entry of this my list which is of type i database so this was a technical example of liskov's substitution principle i hope you understood it and you can continue studying other solid principles in the object oriented programming videos thank you for watching the video